The purpose of this video is just to give you some information about how to get your tax returns through the modification review or the short sale review or the deed in lieu review without getting rejected. Um, I say this in many of my videos, but um, a, a good thing to practice when you are trying to get a loss mitigation review through to a decision is to make sure your documents are perfect and that you've checked all the boxes um, prior to submission so that you don't get caught in this kind of never-ending document cycle where the banks have to kick your, back, uh, kick your documents back to you. Um, so tax returns are part of a required financial package regardless of what you're applying for. Loan modification, short sales, deed in lieu, you probably will have to submit your tax returns. Um, so I just want to give a few kind of tips and tricks. Number one, your tax returns should always be signed. Oftentimes if we have a tax preparer help us with our return, they give us a copy, but the signed copy goes to the IRS. Um, so a lot of times homeowners have copies that are not signed. So sign your copies where you're supposed to and make sure that there's a date. You always want to sign with a wet signature in black ink. Um, electronic signatures often have the ability to be rejected. You want to sign, you want to put a date, and on some returns, depending on the year, there's a space for a phone number uh, after the date, so you'll want to put your phone number. Um, so have your tax returns be signed. Include all schedules. So some people only send kind of the first two pages that has the summary of what's going on, but especially if you're a self-employed homeowner, you should have multiple schedules. So you want to send the full tax return, multiple schedules. Sometimes it's several pages, but the banks are going to request that they see all schedules. Um, you want to do everything you can to send your tax returns in a PDF format. Um, don't do anything weird like printing screenshots from TurboTax or anything like that. Uh, the banks will require them to be in a PDF format. And then last but not least, if you have misplaced your returns or you don't know where they are or you don't have a copy, you can always request a copy of your tax transcript from the IRS directly. You can do this online below this video. I believe there's a link to help you get to the request a tax transcript online. Um, you fill in some information, you will need to have your social security number, and then they should be able to email or mail you a copy of your tax transcript. Um, and the transcript has all the information included on the return. It won't look like a return, but you want to get your transcript over. I recommend um, if you're sending a tax transcript instead of the actual return, that you include a short letter to the bank telling them, hey, I've misplaced my return, I don't have a copy of it, that's why I'm sending the tax transcript. Um, for all packages, banks typically want to see almost across the board a full two years worth of the most recent two years. So take the most recent two years of filing, all pages. If you're in a situation where you haven't filed for the most recent years, but you filed for the previous two years, um, send the most recent two years. So for example, right now we're in 2020, you should have 2018 and 2019 filed. If you don't, send 2017 and 2018. So even if you don't have the most recent two years, providing them two years of returns is good. Um, a brief note, if you do not have tax returns, meaning you do not file, um, that does not preclude you from uh, asking for a short sale or a loan modification or a deed in lieu. You can definitely get approved for these options and work with your bank without tax returns. Um, it's also important to note that the mortgage lender doesn't care like the IRS cares about whether or not you file tax returns. But you do have to submit something to your bank in order to tell them that you do not have the tax returns. And so if you're somebody who doesn't have tax returns, what you need to do is write a letter of explanation saying that you do not have tax returns, you have not filed, and you need to include the years. So uh, there is a sample letter of explanation linked to my website that you can use for this. Basically, you want to have your name, your property address, your loan number, and then it's just a quick kind of one to two line letter that says, dear whoever, you know, dear bank, dear Bank of America, for example, I did not file taxes, I do not have tax returns for these years. Um, if you don't send in anything, if you don't send in that letter of explanation or you don't send in your tax returns, that's going to cause a delay because the bank is going to think that you have tax returns and then they're going to request them from you. So um, if you don't have returns, you should still move forward with the review, but make sure you submit that letter of explanation in place of the return. Um, if you guys have any questions and you're a Washington State homeowner, give me a call. I can see what I can do to help.